Here are some stuff to consider when choosing an NVMe for either a computer, a PS5, or any of the consoles that are probably going to release in the future. So the more popular ones that are out there are definitely Samsung, but some of the other ones that I personally like and have used and keep in stock for computer builds is Western Digital. This is a great company that makes some great NVMe drives and quite frankly, normal SSDs and normal hard drives at this point they're kind of pointless to get that the normal SSD and the normal hard drive it's kind of like why would you get that over an NVMe unless your motherboard does not support some of the newer faster NVMe drives like the like the fourth gen NVMe drive forgot to say to like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it but if I do not say it like one percent of you will actually do it like subscribe leave a comment all that good stuff NVMe right here, this HP SSD EX900. This thing, this is what I have in my computer. I have this one alongside the two terabytes. So I have, I have both of these in my computer personally. So I got the 980 and then I have the HP just because they're super fast. It's not really anything that like I necessarily need, but I make a lot of videos and I don't want to like just delete everything. And when I'm recording in 4K and putting files on an external hard drive or something, it just takes too long and it's a waste of my time. So some other ones, this is this is a Samsung as well. It's just a different type of Samsung. It's a one terabyte version. Uh, as you can see, this is 3,500 megabytes per second. And then this one is 7,000. So like your, like your read speeds is this, this one is literally double the speed. You know what I mean? This is another good one that I think is pretty good. Um, doesn't come with a heat sink. So there are some that do come with heat sinks for like consoles. I'm pretty sure I could be mistaking on this one. You're going to have to check with Sony's like whatever. This is another good one that I've used quite a few times. Uh, the Western digital blue. This is actually the brand of, a. Uh, of the external hard drive that I have. And then this is actually another new one that I just barely used. This actually, so actually, so this is the one I'm pretty sure this one comes with the heat sink. I'm pretty sure that this is the one that I just literally like just barely used in the computer that I built yesterday. So I don't have this one in the box. These other ones, um, I have just in storage just because so yeah. Now that we went over all my favorite NVMe drives, I want to quickly go over some of these stuff to note when you're picking an NVMe because you don't want to buy a, a fourth generation 7,000 megabytes per second NVMe drive if your motherboard or console or whatever it is that you're putting these NVMe's in does not support it because you're going to be getting an NVMe that's just far too fast for whatever it is that you have going on. So. I have this little note that I scripted here and it says the NVMe SSDs can certainly range in whatever, you know what I mean? So just make sure that you're getting one that you that that supports whatever it is that you have. So what are your needs? If you're going to be using an NVMe SSD, what is it going to be for? Is it just for storage? Is it for transferring files? Is it for gaming, etc.? because gaming you're going to notice the biggest difference as far as like transferring files they're they're getting so fast that it's kind of hard to tell a difference between let's say a 3500 megabytes per second read time and then uh 7000 megabytes 7000 so like until we get like into the like quadruple digits from like going from 7,000 up to like 40,000 megabytes per second, you're not gonna notice that big of a difference between transferring files. However, it is noticeable inside of video games. So the, the two that I have in my computer over there is the, the two terabyte Samsung, this is my main one. And then the, the other one that I have in there is this HP one right here, just because they're very, very, they're, they're fast, but so the Samsung is 7,000 and then this one is my, my point in saying that is the, the, the main NVMe for like where I keep everything, all my programs, my games, etc. 
it is noticeable, but it's not so noticeable that like, I can't use this one to take my, my, my 4k recordings and throw them on this one, which is what this is. It's just my secondary drive. So I don't like end up deleting a bunch of stuff because there have been times where I either make a mistake in a video that I'm editing and recording and stuff. And I need to like get the file back. And I've just learned my lesson so many times to not delete the files that I'm end up, I end up using. So anyways, it can definitely vary like on what you're getting. So the read write speeds, definitely check that, but not only check that, make sure that whatever it is you're getting, I, and I know I keep repeating myself, but it is just it, like, I've done this myself in the past. I've gotten a super fast NVMe for like a, uh, for a computer. And it just, it, it was, I was like confused as to why it felt the same as all the other ones. And it was because my motherboard only supported like the second generation NVMe, not fourth generation. So it just, I got a fourth generation to upgrade and it was only giving me second generation speeds, you know? So yeah, that's really all I got for you guys. Definitely NVMe's futures. Do not get a normal SSD or a normal hard drive at this point. They're just, unless you like literally don't have any NVMe slots on your computer, you know what I mean? Um, the higher storage ones, I definitely, those are, those are like kind of like wallet drainers. So, you know, it's like if you get two, two terabyte versions versus a four terabyte version, we're talking like a huge gap. So like just get two, two terabyte ones, you know what I mean? But again, you're going to need a good motherboard in order to do that because not all motherboards have multiple NVMEs. I'm pretty sure the MSI C790 over there has like, has like four different NVMe slots that you can use. So 